Hello everyone and welcome in to 2024 WIAA Boys Tournament Basketball. It is sectional semifinal basketball live from Adams Friendship High School live on Zaleski Sports. My name is Cale Jacoby alongside Isaac Eagle doing the production here tonight. Tonight it's the number one seed Columbus Catholic Dons hosting, excuse me, I shouldn't say hosting, neutral site location here at Adams Friendship playing the Royal Panthers here tonight. We should be in for a good one tonight. It is a contrast of styles in many ways here tonight. Columbus with their speed, three-point shooting ability, not a lot of size, and Royal with a lot of size. Couple of big men, Landon Lipke, six foot seven, and Tucker Wild, six foot five here in this one. The Royal Panthers went to the state tournament last season where they lost to Newman Catholic in the state semifinals. And Newman Catholic wound up winning the state tournament last year. And funny enough, the Columbus Dons also had their season ended by the Newman Catholic Cardinals last year. That was in a regional final. Columbus had to face those Cardinals much earlier in the postseason. Uh, but both, the te both these teams last year had their seasons end at the hands of the Newman Catholic Cardinals. But this year is a new season. Both these teams with legitimate state aspirations here this year. We've been with the Columbus Dons all season long. They have made it known that is their goal here this season. Both these teams already with fantastic seasons so far, making it to sectionals. Not an easy thing to do. Both winning regional finals. Columbus coming off a win at home against Alma Center Lincoln on Saturday, 69-34 in that regional final. For the Royal Panthers, of course, also coming off a win at home against Cochran Found City. They won that one 63 to 60. Also on Saturday in that regional final matchup. It is Royal and Columbus Catholic here tonight. And again, we talked about the contrast of styles. The Columbus Dons, they're going to push the pace. They're going to try to play fast at all costs. And again, they're a three-point shooting team. They, they just had... The best three-point shooting game I've seen in the four years I've been calling these games here for Zaleski Sports, their three-point shooting, namely Charlie Moore, Emmett Konechny, and Blake Jacoby against Alma Center Lincoln was unbelievable. But if you're a Dons fan, you've been watching this team, they're not only a three-point shooting team. They can attack the basket. Um, even with their lack of height, they can score. But again, tonight they're facing the biggest team they've faced all season long. There's really no doubt about that, Landon Lipke off the bench, second leading scorer for Royal this season, the six foot seven junior. Landon Lipke at nine points per game, over 50% from the field. And also in the starting lineup, the six foot five senior Tucker Wilds. He is third on the team, or excuse me, fourth on the team in scoring here this season at 7.1 points per game. Also right around 50% shooting from the field. Just about ready to send it down to the floor for your national anthem here tonight. It's number one seeded Columbus Catholic and number two seed Royal Panthers here in this sectional semifinal action. Let's send it down to our PA announcer here from Adams Friendship. <laughs> Please rise and remain standing, remove your hats, and direct your attention to the American flag for the singing of our national anthem from Royal High School, Janet Baseman.
right, that was your national anthem. Well sung here from Adams Friendship High School. Royal Panthers, Columbus Catholic Dons tonight on Zaleski Sports. The sectional semi-final matchup. And just about time for starting lineups now. Royal, again, they're looking to try to get back to the state tournament, or of course this game playing to get to a sectional final to play for a chance to go to the state tournament. But Royal, they're trying to go Again, as I was saying, the Royal Panthers looking to, they're trying to go back to the state tournament for the second year in a row here this season. But the Columbus Catholic Dons, they've been the number one ranked team in the state of Wisconsin all season long. That's by our mathematical rankings, and I also believe by some of the coaches' polls out there. But again, the great part about the postseason, rankings get thrown out the window, seeds get thrown out the window. Now you're just, you're just two teams on a neutral site playing basketball. Starting lineups, it is Savan Wainwright, number three, the five foot nine senior. Also starting for the Panthers, the six foot senior, number five, Jacob Sisek. Also starting the six foot five senior, number 25, Tucker Wilds. And also starting the six foot senior, number 32, Tyrus Wilds. And rounding out the starting lineup, leading scorer this season, the six foot two junior, Carter Apenna. Number 34 for the Royal Panthers. Thank you. Columbus is starting five. Again, Columbus has an all senior starting five. They've got nine seniors on this varsity roster. They're starters. Number zero, the senior, Emmett Konechny. Number 10, the forward, the senior, Lucas Krekla. Number 12, the senior, Charlie Moore. Number 13, the senior, Blake Jacoby. And number 25, the senior, Cy Becker. No heights provided for the Columbus Dons. Again, we tell you covering the Dons, everybody on the team is about 6'1". Nobody's taller than 6'1", other than Cole Hilgeman, who may or may not see the floor, but Hilgeman's probably closer to 6'3", 6'4". But the Dons, the guys that they put on the court, nobody's taller than 6'1". And again, that's the story of this matchup, the height of the Royal Panthers and the shooting ability, speed, and lack of size for the Columbus Dons ready to get set. Lucas Kreklo and Carter Apina to jump. Kreklo wins it. Emmett Konechny picks it up. This place is loud. It is near capacity. Almost not enough room for all these fans here. Almost. Great sight here at Adams Friendship. Pass back door. A foul right off the bat as Cy Becker goes baseline. A quick foul, that one is gonna be called on Jacob Sisek. That's his first personal team first. Emmett Konechny to inbound here for the Dons. Blake Jacoby leads the Dons in scoring this year. Emmett Konechny just behind him. Side Becker, the fadeaway jump shot's gonna be short. On the inside for Columbus. Back the other way come the Panthers. Here's Savon Wainwright. Wainwright, here's a corner three for Abena, no good. Dons back the other way, Blake Jacoby. Jacoby was scorching from three, as were many of these Dons in their regional final win. Emmett Konechny takes the ball screen. Mid-range jumper rejected. Rejected by Tyrus Wilds. What a defensive stand there by these Panthers. And you can hear it, it is loud here for this sectional semifinal as the Panthers swing it around. Looks like the Dons starting out in their 2-3 zone. And the Dons will switch back and forth between a 2-3 and a man-to-man -man typically. Here's Wayne right into the corner for Wilds. Back into the corner now. Wayne right up top, swings it over. Tyrus Wilds tries the three, no good. Charlie Moore the rebound. Moore pushes the pace. Again, the Dons, they want to play fast. Here's Emmett Konechny, top of the key three. Bang for Emmett Konechny. Emmett Konechny gets the Dons on the board. First score of the night, it's the senior, Emmett Konechny. Again, Emmett, the, you know, seem to be the leader of this Dons team. They got a lot of them, but. Jacob Seasick up top, swings it over to Savan Wainwright. Wainwright into the post, back up top now. Here's a three for Wilds, off back iron, no good. Blake Jacoby the rebound. Dons the other way. Jacoby brings it up. And again, Jacoby, the shortest guy on the floor, but he will attack the basket aggressively 
if he gets a lane. Kreklow into the corner now for Jacoby. Sometimes if he doesn't even have a lane, he'll just go into the post, and here he goes. Blocked Tyrus Wilds with his second block of the game. And Wilds will bring it up. Wilds swings it over to Savannah Wainwright. Wainwright now left wing for Seasick. Seasick back up top to Wilds. Back to Seasick against this Don's 2 3 zone. Panthers taking their time here, down by three. They get into the post of the big man, pass inside, a foul. Two free throws coming up for Carter Apenna. Foul called on Columbus's Charlie Moore, his first personal, team first. And to the free throw line for two shots, the Panthers' leading scorer at 16 a game, it's Carter Apenna, the junior. And Apenna... At 16 points per game this season. Misses the first free throw. A defensive battle so far here in this first two and a half minutes. Again, this is a packed house here at Adams Friendship. For this sectional semifinal, here's the free throw. No good again. 0 for 2 from the line that time for Carter Apenna. Cy Becker brings it up. Becker, again for Royal fans, maybe not be, maybe not that familiar with the Dons here this season. The Dons with nine seniors, five in the starting lineup. Emmett Konechny takes the ball screen. Little high dribble there, tough layup, no good from Konechny. And it's the Panthers back the other way. Here's Tyrus Wilds into the corner. Wainwright thought about the three, goes baseline. The pass inside to his big man, Tucker Wilds. Back into Wilds, he's got good position in there. Rejected by Lucas Kreklow. Kreklow rejects the 6-5 big man. Charlie Moore the other way, attacking the basket. Tough floater, no good. Takes a tough fall. No call. The Panthers back the other way. Into the corner here. Wainwright from downtown. Back iron, no good. Again, this has been fast-paced early. So far, the pace, exactly what the Dons will want. Charlie Moore takes the screen. Kreklow falls to the floor, and it's going to be a defensive foul called on... Carter Apenna, and again, it, it, doing all the Don's games, it's about the same thing every game. You, you'll see Kreklow fall to the floor, and every time the opposing team's not happy, again, I say it with every Don's game, Kreklow and some of these other Don's have a skill to use their lack of size to, let's say, acrobatically fall to the floor and uh, try to draw some fouls that way. Charlie Moore takes the screen, the double screen. He attacks the basket, back door to Kreklow. Tough finish, gets it to go. Lucas Kreklow for two on the assist from Charlie Moore. And the Dons up to a quick 5-0 lead. And again, the Dons, they can score the ball, but what's been impressive from them to end this season has been their stifling defense. Another example of it here. Are we going to have a jump ball? Yes, we will. Possession stays with Royal. And now we got a substitution, and coming into the game, it's the... Six, six foot seven man Landon Lipke, the second leading scorer on this Panther team, the six seven junior. And, they, and again, the Dons in that two three, they'd prefer Royal to shoot those threes rather than getting it inside to those big men. Here's Wainwright, an open look. They've had a couple of those, no good. Again, the Panthers have had some good looks from out there, just haven't been able to knock them down so far tonight. Emma Kinnishin, he takes the ball screen from Kreklow. Back up top to Kreklow. Jacoby coming off a screen, gets it to him. Jacoby refuses the screen, spins inside, backs in, back out to Kreklow. Kreklow thought about the three, guarded by the 6'7", big Lipke. Side Becker, hands off to Moore, into the corner, Konechny. Konechny back to Becker. The Dons just working their offense here, Royal in a tight man-to-man. -man. And again, Blake Jacoby attacks, tough shot, he's fouled. Blake Jacoby heading to the line for two shots. He heads to your serve pro, Jamie Wenzel, free throw line, call Jamie Wenzel at serve pro for the number one choice in cleanup and restoration, Surf Pro, like it never even happened. Blake Jacoby to the line for two. Knocks down the first. And the Dons have been a good three-point shooting team throughout this season. The very beginning of the year, their first couple of games, it was a little rusty, but that can happen to start the season. They've been pretty solid throughout this season since then. Blake Jacoby goes two for two from the line, and it is a quick 7-0 lead for the Dons. Royal the other way. Here's Tyrus Wild. Skips it ahead to Tucker Wilds. Back to Tyrus. 
Tucker, pass over to Carter Apinna. Now inside, stolen away by Cy Becker. Prevents Lipke from getting the post touch. And the Don's the other way. Jacoby left wing, up top here to Cy Becker. Back into the corner to Matt Kenichny. Mack, looking for his brother Emmett in there, instead skips it out to Cy Becker. Becker attacks the basket. The step through, move, and he's going to get called for the travel. And Becker just got his feet tied up there. First turnover of the game for Columbus after Royal turned it over for the first time tonight. So back-to-back -back turnovers. Possession goes back to the Panthers here. Skip ahead. Cy Becker nearly comes up with another steal. A dangerous pass there from Apenna. But goes out of bounds off Becker. Stays with the Panthers. And Coach Apenna calls timeout for the Panthers. Timeout on the floor. We'll take a break. It's Columbus 7, Royal 0. Take a break. Back after this from Adams Friendship High School on Zaleski Sports. Sound good? Good day. My name is Ken Hyman, and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin, as a matter of fact. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Fetacaseri, Cafletiri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edom, Gouda, and Munster. And the cheese be with you. Royals own Jaden Enzenbacher is the proud owner of Jay Sport and Hobby in Toma. Find shelves of playing cards of all sports, jerseys, helmets, autograph memorabilia, and much, much more. Search for those hard-to-find single playing cards or find giveaways, promotions, and even those non-sports trading cards like Pokemon. It's all under one roof at Jay Sport and Hobby in Toma, or find them on Facebook or email them at jaysportandhobby at gmail.com. Go Royal! Says Jaden Enzenbacher. And here's a near turnover. It is a turnover for the Royal Panthers. The Dons back the other way. Blake Jacoby left wing. The crossover steps through. Has it stolen away. Coming up with a steal that time was Ben Cernicki. Both teams with two turnovers here tonight. They've turned it over each of their last two possessions. We've had four straight turnovers from both sides. Here's a mid-range jump shot. Yapina scores for the first time tonight. Gets the Panthers on the board. Carter Yapina. And a quick steal and put back right away for Tyrus Wilds, it looked like. I actually I was looking down at my book, and instantly a steal. I believe that was for Tyrus Wilds. And just like that, four quick points for the Panthers. Now Emmett Konechny backs inside. Tough left-hand shot up and good. Emmett Konechny, the tough move to the basket. Good take there by Emmett. Nine to four. Columbus Dons with the lead. Here is Cernicki. Zernicki in the corner, looking to get it into his big man, Tucker Wilds. Instead goes back door here, Lipke, tough shot, no good, it's short. Back the other way comes Columbus, Matt Konechny in the corner. Into the high post here for Kreklo. Kreklo nearly has it taken away, but finds Mack. Mack takes the ball screen from Kreklo. Swings it over, Emmett Konechny tries the contested three. Back iron, no good. The Dons have not made a three-point shot yet tonight. That was their first attempt. The first three-point attempt for Columbus tonight. And there's the three from uh, Sir Nicky. No good. A rebound for Blake Jacoby. And again, these Royal Panthers have done a nice job keeping the Dons off the three-point line. And again, that is... The Dons can score at the basket, as they've shown tonight, but what makes them dangerous, they can take you out and beat you by 20 in a blink of an eye with the way they shoot the three. And clearly, Coach Apenna obviously knows that and not giving any space to these Dons three-point shooters tonight. Emmett to the basket. Into the corner for Mack. Mack up top to Kreklo. Back to Cy Becker. Becker looking. Swings it over to Jacoby. Up top, Matt Konechny from downtown in and out. Here come the Panthers the other way. As Tyrus Wilds brings it up. Swings it over to, to Sir Nicky. Back up top to Wilds. He swings it over to Apinna. Apinna into the high post now for Tucker Wilds. Back out Sir Nicky. Tucker Wilds, mid-range jump shot. Back iron, no good. And if you're Columbus, sure Wilds can hit that shot, but if you're Columbus, that's the exact shot you want him taking. You want those 6'5", six, 6'7 six, guys outside the paint. Lucas Kreklow is going to try a three. That's short. 
And that's the guy, if you're the Royal Panthers, you want shooting that three as well. So I think both defenses, both those possessions, got what they wanted. Big guy shooting jumpers. Into the high post here. Landon Lipke, the jump shot, no good. Columbus the other way. Mack brings it up, hands, up to, hands off to Becker. 9-4, to four, Columbus Catholic Downs. Into the corner here for Kreklo. Kreklo back up, Mack Konechny. Cy Becker from downtown, bricks it in. The most unconventional way you'll see a three-point shot made. Cy Becker basically tossed up a brick off the back of the rim, but it just clanks right in through the net. It's 12-4. to four. Columbus Lipke, tough shot up and good over Kreklo. Landon Lipke for two. Becker hands off Jacoby. Jacoby takes the ball screen. Up top here, now we got a foul. And that's going to go on Royal. Called on Ben Cernicki, his first personal, team fourth. So I think we got four. Oh, there's my scoreboard I'm looking for. Four team fouls on the Panthers. Charlie Moore to inbound here for the Dons. And again, the three guys especially to watch out for for Royal. Getting hot from the three-point line. All the Dons can hit them. But the three guys are Blake, Jacoby, Emmett Konechny, and Charlie Moore. Those are the guys that can just go absolutely lethal from beyond the arc. Charlie Moore, left wing, attacks the basket. Now into the corner for Kreklo. Kreklo attacks. Back outside. Emmett Konechny. Here is one up. No good. Falls to the floor. Emmett Konechny's got five points. And excuse me, I uh, mistakenly said there had not been a three made. Emmett Konechny hit a three right to begin this game for the first points of the game. That was my mistake. Savon Wainwright in the corner. Gets it up top here for Carter Olsen. Back up top now, Jacob Sisek. Back to Wainwright. He swings it over now, Trey Wilds. Into the high post here for Carter Olsen. Now we got a whistle and a foul. Two shots coming up for Landon Lipke. And Lucas Kreklo is not happy with the call, but that's going to be his first personal team second and the 6'7 big man Landon Lipke heads to the line for two shots and this place is packed to look straight in front of me it looks about 50-50 Columbus and Royal fans on that far bench Landon Lipke misses the free throw and here on our side we probably got half and half as well with the we got the stu two student sections on our side and some other fans as well. 0 for 2 from the line there. Offensive rebound, though, for Wainwright. Royal 0 for 4 from the free throw line in this game. Savon Wainwright, right, right wing, swings it over to Trey Wilds. Now into the high post. Olsen, the floater, off back iron, no good. Blake Jacoby, the rebound. Emmett Konechny pushes ahead. Kreklow to the basket for 2. That's a goaltend. Wasn't called. Kreklo made it. it. It went off the backboard first, then was blocked. Should have been a goaltend, but doesn't matter. It went in either way. And now an offensive foul on Landon Lipke. Lipke's first. Team fifth. And that was Lucas Kreklo drawing it again. Kreklo falls to the floor. Again, these Dons have a knack for drawing fouls against bigger defenders. They know they're undersized. And as I'm getting a look, as I'm getting a look at Lucas Kreckle and Landon Lipke. It doesn't look like 6'7 and 6'1. I, they, might, they may be exaggerating Lipke's height just a bit. He's tall, but Kreckle's not that much shorter. Here's Charlie Moore off back iron, no good. Back the other way come the Panthers. It's 14 to 6. Bringing it up. Olsen into the high post. Skips it outside. Here's a three from Seasick. No good. And they can actually need the rebound. Royals still looking for their first made three of the night. Here's Blake Jacoby. Back outside to Kreklo. Kreklo attacks. Spins. Tries the dream shake. Kicks it outside to Mack. Mack can actually in the corner now. Moore. Moore looking. Attacking the basket here. Fakes the shot, looking for someone to get it to, finds Jacoby outside. Jacoby refuses the screen, back up top to Kreklo. Kreklo looking for a guard to get the ball to, finds Matt Konechny. Mack off the bounce, finds his brother Emmett. Left wing, Blake Jacoby, his first three, he nails it. 
Blake Jacoby from downtown. He's got five points, and the Dons are up 17 to six. Savon Wainwright swings it over. Tyrus Wilds into the corner now. Jacob Seasick back to Wilds in the corner. Gets it inside. Landon Lipke. Mid-range jumper is good. The turnaround shot from Lipke. He's got four. Charlie Moore brings it up the other way. Little in and out dribble. Finds Jacoby. Again, Jacoby ended the season as hot as any Don's player. That's why he finished the season as a Don's leading scorer. Kreklo, mid-range shot, no good. Royal the other way. Savannah Wainwright. Swings it left wing here. Tyrus Wilds back to Wainwright. Up top three, no good. Clearly the Dons' game plan were to let, was to let these Royal Panthers shoot, and it has worked so far. They have not hit a three. Charlie Moore outside to Jacoby. Jacoby in the corner. Moore, a good look, and no good. A rare miss as Matt Kineshny comes up with the offensive rebound. He tries the three. It's short. And Charlie Moore with a couple of rare open three misses here tonight. Left wing here, Savannah Wainwright. Matt Kineshny nearly comes up with a steal. Give us a chance to hear from our friends over at SC Swiderski. An SES apartment or home is where you want to live, work, and play all throughout central Wisconsin, the Chippewa Valley, and the Fox Valley. No matter where you live, look to SC Swiderski to make you feel right at home. Visit scswiderski.com for more. Royal basketball. And there's a reason. There's a... Saying out there, defense wins championships in the postseason. When the postseason comes around, sometimes your shooting isn't always there, especially in these neutral site gyms you never played at. And tonight, the Dons absolutely doing it with their defense. Here's the top of the key three. It's good. Tyrus Wilds. And the Panthers needed that one, making it a six point game. Their first made three of the night. We'll see if that can spark a little bit of fire from beyond the arc for the Panthers here in this one. Cy Becker left wing, takes the ball screen, kicks it out to Jacoby. Jacoby, off the spin, hands off to Dooms. Dooms going back door, Emmett Konechny to the rim for two. Emmett Konechny with seven points. Wayne right the other way, Don's lead it by eight. Right wing, it's Cisic, he tries the three, off back iron, no good, Wayne right the rebound. Royal has won the offensive glass so far tonight. And oddly enough, it hasn't been the bigs that are getting the rebounds. It's been Wainwright a lot of times where he's kind of been in the right spot at the right time to get those rebounds. On the offensive side, Wainwright thought about the three. Goes into the high post. Here's a pinna. Tough shot. A charge to call. Charge called on Carter Apinna. Carter Apinna called for the charge. His second personal. And again, we say it with every Don's game, they draw charges like no team in the state. They put referees in that position. They know they're undersized. And again, that one, it's not for me to say whether that was the right call or not. I, I, I go with the referee. And again, it's, it's always a tough call. It's always bang, bang with those charge blocks. That bottom of the key referee has got the best look, or baseline referee, I should say. And McConnechny in the corner, but the Dons will try that all game. Charlie Moore to the basket. He's fouled. Two shots coming up for Charlie Moore. Foul called on Tucker Wilds, his first personal. Team seventh. The Dons will be in the bonus the rest of the way here in this first half. Charlie Moore to your surf pro, Jamie Wenzel, free throw line. No good on the first. Charlie Moore. Call Jamie Wenzel at Surf Pro for the number one choice in cleanup and restoration at Surf Pro like it never even happened. Moore with a rare 0 for 2 trip to the line. Those shooters for the Dons usually automatic left wing. Wainwright had an open look. Swings it up to Carter Apenna instead. Back out to Wainwright. Now up top here, Tyrus Wilds, short corner. Apinna, the pump fake, got him, two points. As he faked outside, Becker, two points for Carter Apinna. He's got four on the night, 19-13 Columbus. Blake Jacoby up top. Crosses over, goes back door. Emmett Kanishny, tough finish, no good. Sam Dooms tips it out, Wainwright comes up with it. He's got a breakaway opportunity, and Wainwright can't finish. Rebound for Columbus. Well defended by Charlie Moore on the other side. 
to try to force that, well, he did force that Wainwright miss. Emmett Konechny left wing, backs in, backs in, outside for Becker. Becker up top to Sam Dooms. Again, Dooms comes in and gives that defensive grit for these Dons. Not only really a shooter and a breakaway steal here. Layup up and good for Tyrus Wilds. Don's third turnover. Timeout Columbus. Coach Konechny wants to talk it over. This Royal bench is fired up. 19-15 Columbus with a lead. We'll take a break. Back with more sectional semifinal boys basketball after this on Zaleski Sports. Miller's True Value in Marshfield, Central Wisconsin's Milwaukee Tool Destination Center. The tools you trust from the people you can depend on. Shop the store within a store and find what you're looking for. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Now that's what I was looking for. Looks like you found what you're looking for. We redesigned our store to offer the biggest selection of Milwaukee tools. A selection so big you'll need a map to find your way out. Killers True Value in Marshfield, Central Wisconsin's Milwaukee Tool Destination Center. Welcome back everybody. It is 19 to 15. Columbus leads Royal here tonight. And I got a comment. I think a Royal fan saying that a pen is pronounced Upena. All I can tell you, Royal fan out there, I appreciated the feedback, but all I can tell you is I did talk with Coach Apena before the game, and he told me Apena, Apena. That's that's what co the coach with the last name told me, so I'm going to go with Coach pronouncing his, his, his last name. That's what I'm going to go with. Blake Jacoby in the corner. Coming up top into the high post now for Emmett Konechny. Back up top for Cy Becker. Becker hands off for Charlie Moore. Moore attacking the basket. That goes out of bounds off of Royal. Again, this is starting to get to be a contentious game. High intensity, just like you like to see in a sectional matchup. Both these teams fighting for their playoff lives. A chance to play, to go to the state tournament on Saturday. Ben Cernicki poked that one out of bounds. Emma Konechny in the corner. Charlie Moore, pump fakes, mid-range jump shot. Moore, no good. Back the other way it comes Royal. Moore yet to make a shot here tonight. Cernicki, the left-handed three, no good. Battle for the board, and the Dons fighting themselves for that rebound. Better to have everybody go for it than nobody. The Dons back the other way. Emmett Konechny takes the ball screen, and Kreklow falls to the floor. This is going to be, we'll see if they get the foul on. They're going to get it on Royal. They're going to call that on Tyrus Wilds, and that one was close. It was tough to tell whether Kreklo was falling to the floor kind of under his own imbalance or if it was if it was Tyrus Wilds kind of shoving him over. Referee says it was Wilds pushing into him. Eighth team, it is bonus free throws coming up for Lucas Kreklo. And again, you got half the fans booing at the foul. You got half the fans cheering at the foul. Lucas Kreklo makes the first. He's got five here tonight. Kreklo, no good on the second. That one, battle out of bounds. We'll see who the possession goes to. They say off Columbus, goes to Royal. <laughs> 20 to 15, Columbus Catholic leads Royal. A matchup with a trip to a sectional final. Chance to play for a trip to the state tournament on the line. Again, I mentioned Royal was at the state tournament last year. Columbus, it's been since 2019 since these Dons have been to the state tournament. Ben Cernicki attacks. Tough shot. Blocking foul of the call. Cy Becker tried to draw the charge. And again, there's another one. They tried to draw the charge. That one called the block. Again, I think that one was a good call. I do think the referees have done a nice job tonight. And again, the fans from... Sometimes fans from either side are just going to be, you know, it's the fans' job to be upset when something doesn't go their, their team's way. But I think tonight these referees have, have done a nice job, even on those charge calls. I think they've gotten it right so far here tonight as Ben Cernicki hits the first. Again, that, that one was called a block, and it did look like Cy Becker was moving on that one. Cernicki scores his first point of the night. And the first made free throw of the game for Royal. They were 0 for 4, make it 1 for 6 now with that miss. Back the other way come the Dons. Right now that's, that's the difference on the scoreboard. 50 seconds left, Blake Jacoby to the basket. Tough shot, no good. 
It's the Panthers the other way. Ben Cernicki swings it over to Tyrus Wilds. Swings it back over to Cisic. Cisic to Wainwright. Back to Cisic. Now into the corner for Wilds. Into the paint. Up top. Wainwright tries the three. It's short. Battle for the rebound. Cernicki to the basket. He's fouled. Two shots coming up for Ben Cernicki. See who they call this one on. I didn't see the call. It's like they got Matt Konechny on the foul. His first personal team fourth. And first free throw good for Ben Cernicki. And again, if you're Royal, you want to clean it up from the free throw line right now. Again, they've had a little bit better free throw shooting. This game would be close to tied, if not a Royal lead right now. That's how close it's been. Cernicki goes one for two from the line there. He's got two points. Columbus Dons the other way. 20 seconds. We'll see if they hold for one here. Dons usually like to play quick and get up a shot. If Get up a good shot if they can find one early, but they might hold for one. Jacoby hands off to Emmett Konechny. Takes the ball screen. Konechny to the basket. Going to reset the offense. Eight seconds on the clock. To the basket. Tough finish. Oh, my goodness. What a finish from Emmett Konechny. And Royal the other way. Tough shot. Count it and one. Count it and one on the three at the halftime buzzer. What a shot. The re or are they saying, no, are they saying half ended? The referee called basket. I, I thought I saw the referee's hand say, say it was good. Columbus has gone into their locker room. I. Well, it looks like they counted the basket, though. Just no foul, I think. So I think what the call was was a three-point make, but the buzzer sounded before the foul. To try to clear that up for everybody out there, that was kind of a wild sequence. It looks like they counted the three. I believe it was Jacob Cisic with the three. They counted the three-point shot. He got the shot off in time, but no foul on the play. I have to say, that was a dangerous uh choice by Lucas Kreklow to go for a charge on a three at near half court. That very nearly could have been a four-point play. Lucas Kreklow lucky that it wasn't, but what a way to end the first half. A three at the buzzer. It's 22 to 20. Columbus over Royal. We'll take a break. Back to break down this first half after this on Zaleski Sports. I'm Shad from Next Step Prosthetics. Five years ago, we opened our practice to provide life-changing prosthetics that are both comfortable and functional. I would definitely recommend Chai. Chai is very compassionate, caring. We've grown to serve patients throughout Wisconsin. We want to thank them, their families, and providers who have trusted us on the journey. Go to Next Step, because it's going to change your life. Why wait another day? Call to set up a free, no-obligation evaluation. Let us take the next step together towards a better life. The Kubota RTVX 1100 Versatile Utility Vehicle comes with factory installed features, cab, heat and air, power steering and heavy duty hydrostatic transmission. Get the RTVX 1100 for $0 down and 0% APR for 36 months. Now through March 31st, 2024, go to Kubota USA for a complete disclaimer. Test drive the Kubota RTVX 1100 at Chile Implement in Chile, 10 miles west of Marshfield and south on Y. Hey everybody, Nat over at Wheeler Chevrolet GMC, and I am standing in our all new express lane. Open now, no appointment necessary. Stop on in and get things like oil changes, filters, quick lubes, no appointment necessary. See you soon. You're tuned in to Better Halves. Mike, what are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older, I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys, me. Hey Mike, I'm Sheila from security and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here? Why work for Staub Construction? Everybody around you is just family. Everybody seems to bond together and get along good and they, I believe, truly care about their employees. Staub has a, a great benefits package. Staub is an employee-owned company that uh, puts a, a large emphasis on work-life balance. 
and everybody wants to see everybody succeed. It's a good place to work. Join the team at Staub Construction. Apply now at StaubCO.com. Welcome back, everybody. It is 22 to 20. The Columbus Dons lead the Royal Panthers here in this sectional semifinal matchup. Before we break down this first half a bit, let me give you a quick update on another Marshfield area team. Marathon and Auburndale, that's one of the bigger matchups we've got on the Zaleski Sports Broadcast Network tonight along with this game here tonight. Marathon, I think the prohibitive favorite in that game. Last season, they were also the prohibitive favorite. These two teams matched up in a sectional semi. Auburndale leads Marathon 23-20 to at halftime in that game. That's Division 4. And Auburndale, of course, as you Dons fans know, just a few minutes away from Marshfield, the home of the Columbus Dons. So... Auburndale getting close, maybe could pull off another back-to-back -back year upset. Marathon, I think I, for a lot of us at Zaleski Sports, the favorites to win the state tournament uh, for Division IV. But that's why we play the games here in tonight's game, though. Columbus Dons lead it 22-20. You look at Columbus's scoring there in that first half. Leading the way was the senior, Emmett Kaneshny. He had nine points. Blake Jacoby, he had five points, as did Lucas Kreklo. Cy Becker had three points in the first half, and that was your Columbus scoring for Royal. It leading the way in that first half was Tyrus Wilds. He had seven. Landon Lipke had four, as did Carter Iapena. Ben Cernicki had two points. Jacob Sisik had those three points to end the half. I mean, what a way that was to end the half. A, just a tough, deep three, chucking it up there and just sunk it there at the halftime buzzer. There, 22 to 20, Columbus leading the Royal Panthers here tonight. Let's hear from another, another one of our great sponsors here at Zaleski Sports. Can everyone hear from here tonight the, the uh, advertisements you're seeing tonight? Without these great companies, these great businesses, we would not be able to give you these games free and live on ZaleskiSports.com. Just want to thank all of our great sponsors at Zaleski Sports. Right now, let's hear from our friends at Hiller's True Value, Central Wisconsin's Milwaukee Tool Destination Center. Get the tools you trust from the people you can depend on. Hiller's True Value in Marshfield. And Sports Scene. Sports Scene in Marshfield is your official fanware store for player jerseys, hats, autograph memorabilia, and more. Sports Scene up the stairs from World Buffet in the Marshfield Mall. And Stop Construction is a premier builder of municipal and industrial water and wastewater treatment systems in the Midwest. Stop Construction, a 100% employee-owned company. Let's take a break. Be back to break down a little bit more of this First half, get you set for the second half of action after this on Zaleski Sports. Three Goodyear tires and one is free has been extended at Sherrill Tire and Auto Service. Plus get up to $200 back on four installed Goodyear tires when you use the Goodyear credit card. Buy three and one is free in March at Sherrill Tire and Auto. Find your location at SherrillTire.com. Culligan Water delivers from your first call to your first sip to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. Wondering what to feed your team after work, the game, or this weekend? Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids has tasty char-broiled burgers for any hungry appetite. From the classic hamburger to the famous Chips Champ and everything in between, check out our daily specials. Stop inside to enjoy your meal with comfortable seating. See our complete menu of burgers, hot ham and cheese, hot beef, chicken and fish, fries, rings, curds, and ice cream served year-round. In a hurry? Same great menu in the drive-thru. Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids. 2023 was a year of change. Innovation. Building something new. And teamwork. The H&S legacy is evolving. And we're carrying it forward. Designing equipment that helps farmers get the job done. Looking ahead to the future of farming while staying true to the values that have brought us this far and made us who we are today. H&S. Strong heritage. Strong people. Stronger future. Bauer & Fine has been based in Marshfield since 1955. And if you're in business that long, you're obviously doing many things right. We always focus on selling world-class products, backing it up with world-class customer support. Working with Brown Fine Business Technologies has been a pleasure. We have staff on call that we can call if we ever have issues, and the printer usability has been really easy, user-friendly. 
give us a call, visit our website. We'd be happy to come in, talk to you. Maybe there's a way we can help you save some money and work more efficiently. Welcome back, everybody. Some more score updates for you. We've got games galore. Sectional final, boys on Zaleski Sports. We've got Kakana, Marshfield, Nina, Stevens Point, River Falls, Wausau East, Auburndale Marathon, Three Lakes, Allman, Bancroft, and Royal Columbus Catholic, our game here tonight. And then we've got Milwaukee Academy of Science and St. Thomas Moore as well. St. Thomas Moore may be the highest scoring team in the state over there, but I want to give you an update. Spash Nina, Spash leads Nina in that Division I matchup by three points. I believe it was 26-23 at half, and man, those, those Nina Rockets, I had the opportunity of covering their sectional run last season. And man, I think last year they were a sixth seed. This year they're a sixth seed. Every year those Nina Rockets seem to make a deep run. They went to the state tournament last year, state tournament the year before. They make a deep run regardless of what uh, seed they are. Very well coached team over there. And so I do have an update for you there from Nina Stevens Point. 26, 23 it sounded like over there. Spash with the lead in that one. Again, we've we've seen Spash more than a few times. Marshfield Kakana looks like Kakana, it's a tight game there at halftime. Last I saw, 35-32 Kakana over Marshfield. So again, we've got three Marshfield area teams still alive in sectionals. All three, actually, if you want to think of it. I guess uh, not a uh, Stratford, a Marshfield area team probably there for Division Four. So they're probably the only ones that we don't have here tonight, uh, even though those Stratford Tigers uh, had, a, had a very good season this year, just ran up against that buzzsaw, the Marathon Red Raiders. But uh, Columbus, Marshfield... And Auburndale all still alive here so far. Columbus Dons lead the Royal Panthers 22-20. We are set and underway here in this second half. Teams will flip sides of the floor. Blake Jacoby brings it up here for Columbus. He's defended by Wainwright. Again, the Dons, they haven't got, gotten it going from three-point range. These Panthers have done a great job defending the three-point line here tonight. Cy Becker right wing. And again, I feel like if you're the Dons, you're going to have to continue to attack the basket, get those tough buckets on the inside. Here's Jacoby, right wing. Jacoby attacks into the short corner. Kreklo. Kreklo to the basket. The pump fake. Go, tries to go up and under. Kicks back out. Emmett Konechny. Battle for the ball. Konechny comes up with it. He's going to try to push the pace here. Gets it to Kreklo. Mid-range jump shot. No good. And that's a shot that Kreklo can hit, but if you're Royal, that's a shot you are, you like to, you're okay giving up. Pass inside here. They're going right to the post early on. Tough shot. Good. Tucker Wilds with a little bit of contact there finishes his first points of the game. Royal coming out using their size to their advantage in the second half. Blake Jacoby to the basket. Hands off to Charlie Moore. Moore to the baseline. Moore outside. Stolen away. Coming up with a steal that time. It's Tyrus Wilds. He led the Panthers in scoring in that first half. Here's Wainwright up top. Swings it over to Jacob Sisek who had that buzzer beating halftime three. And now he tries another three. Columbus left him open. No good. Columbus, for the most part, in their 2-3, has left these Royal shooters open all game. It's kind of been a completely opposite game plan. Zone defense, leave the three-point shooters open for Royal. For the Columbus defensive side, on the other side, Royal tight man-to-man -man, taking away the three-point shot. And again, we knew that was going to be what, probably what it was coming into this game. These two teams, very different styles of basketball. Charlie Moore to the basket. Going up with a floater. No good. Moore still looking for his first points. Royal the other way. Those are shots we're used to seeing Charlie Moore hit. Carter Apina swings it over to Wainwright. Back to Apina. Apina, what right wing here to Cisic. He tries another three. Short. Battle for the rebound. Kreklo didn't go for the ball there. And Tucker Wild says, thank you, I'll take it. Kreklo did a nice job boxing out, but I don't know if he ever saw the ball. Here's a mid-range jump shot from Apina. No good. Columbus going to push the pace the other way. Emmett Konechny. Right wing. Konechny takes the ball screen from Kreklo. Pull up jump shot. That's a tough shot. No good. That's a shot. It's a tough one, but a shot Emmett can hit. Back the other way. It's Wainwright. Swings it over to a pinna. Right wing three. It is up. No good. Jacoby the rebound. That shot missed by Tyrus Wilds that time. Still looking for at least one for four from outside here tonight is Tyrus Wilds. Charlie Moore brings it up the other way. He attacks. Looking. Looking. Well defended here. Miscommunication. This is going to be stolen away by Apina. The one on two. And he no good. Just about finishing it. But Carter Apina comes up short on the one on two fast break. The Dons with five turnovers. Royal with just two. 
This might be the second game all year that we've broadcasted where Columbus is losing the turnover battle. Lucas Kreklo nails the mid-range jumper. As I said, Royals okay with that shot. Lucas says, you know what, I'm going to take it again, and this time I'm going to make it. Carter Apenna brings it up. Swings it right wing here for Jacob Cisic. Cisic. Up top, swing over to Wainwright. Wainwright. Royal continues to work the ball around here. And these Dons fans starting to get loud now as this is a long defensive possession. Wainwright back up top to Apina. Hands off to Seasick. Back out to Wainwright. That's a deep three, and he nails it. Savon Wainwright from downtown. He's got his first points of the night, and Royal has taken their first lead. Or excuse me, nope, 25-24. Still Columbus up with the lead here. Misspoke there. Cy Becker inside, trying to go up and under. Great help defense there. Charlie Moore attacks, kicks out to Blake Jacoby. The step through, move up with a shot. Oh my goodness, what a shot. Blake Jacoby, count it and one. And again, that is just an example. Didn't see who the foul was called on, but that is just an example of what we've said about Blake Jacoby all season long, what Coach Konechny has said. He's the shortest guy on the floor in most games, but, man, he plays bigger than anybody out there in every single game we see from these Dons. Blake Jacoby plays like he's about 6'8", but misses the free throw there. Both teams have struggled a bit from the line tonight. And, again, I, it was Royals first lead of the game. I got my eyes mixed up on the scoreboard there, so Columbus reclaims the lead. Royal takes it right back. Savon Wainwright. Back-to-back -back scores for Wainwright. Excuse me, Wainwright, he's got five points. 27-26, Royal with the lead. Charlie Moore takes the screen, and now we got a whistle. Timeout, Coach Konechny for Columbus. We'll take a break. Back with more sectional semifinal basketball after this on Zaleski Sports. Central Wisconsin Glass is Central Wisconsin's choice for your next new or remodeled shower and bathroom. The experts at Central Wisconsin Glass will effortlessly guide you through the design and installation process. Have the elegant and modern shower and bathroom you've been looking for. Call Central Wisconsin Glass at 715-387-8010. That's 715-387-8010. And Central Wisconsin Glass on Facebook for your residential, commercial, and vehicle glass needs. Let your job journey begin at Express Employment Professionals. Find hundreds of employers looking for a candidate like you, all in one place at one time. And let Express Employment help connect you with your future career. With locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford, you'll find local jobs right in your community, including direct hire and evaluation to hire opportunities. Express Employment specializes in light industrial, skilled trades, professional, and office careers. Begin your job journey today with Express Employment Professionals at Express PressPros.com. Welcome back, everybody. Columbus Dons basketball. Matt Konechny into the game here for Columbus. And, again, this has been a defensive battle. Charlie Moore, open look for three, traveled with it. I think Charlie thought that he kept his left foot on the floor, and I think some Columbus fans are arguing that as well. But that's going to be a tough, a tough thing to convince referees of. Typically, if a referee sees that up movement and it looks like he could be off the floor, they're going to call it. it. Moore may have kept his foot on the floor, but usually it, it, if it looks like a travel, the referee is going to call it. And, it, and, it, and it, from my angle, it looks like a travel, but that was the call. Ben Cernicki left wing goes up top here to Savon Wayne right back to Cernicki. Royal leads this thing by one point. And we knew this was going to be a fantastic matchup here tonight. Corner three, short. That would have blew the roof off this royal fan base. Charlie Moore attacks, hands off to Kreklo. Kreklo looking, finds Moore. Again, the Dons just not getting any open looks from out there. Moore kicks outside for Mack. Konechny in the corner to Moore. Moore. The Dons holding the ball here. Again, well defended by Royal. Emmett to the basket, into the corner. Kreklo, the mid-range jump shot. He nails it. Lucas Kreklo has come up huge in this one offensively. He's got nine points tied with Emmett Konechny to lead all scorers in this game. That's the one guy Royal's leaving open, and Lucas is saying, I'm going to take these shots, and he's made a couple of them here tonight. He's got nine. 
28-27, Columbus back in the lead. Ben Cernicki, right wing. Into the post, now into the corner. Here's the three, Wilds nails it. Tyrus Wilds from three-point range, and Royal is starting to feel it from outside. Jacoby to the basket, count it and one for Blake Jacoby, another one for Jacoby. Blake has got two of the most difficult finishes we've seen all night. Blocking foul called on Savan Wainwright, his second personal. Again, Royal fans are furious with the call, but again, I... Oh, they, I think they called that on the floor. They called that on the floor. So a blocking foul on the floor. No free throws coming up for Blake Jacoby. But again, I, 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 again, I agree with the referee's call there. there. There's not a lot of calls tonight, if any, that I can think of that I think the referee's missed. I, I think they've done, these, th this refing crew has done a fantastic job here tonight. Blake Jacoby, right wing. Refuses the ball screen into the corner. Kreklow thought about taking the three. And he'd have a decent reason to. He's feeling it a bit here tonight. Cy Becker. Cy Becker hasn't taken many shots tonight. Just two. Kreklow, the corner three. It's short. Kreklow trying the heat check there. No good. Royal the other way. A two-point Panther lead. Up top here, it's Carter Apina. Swings it right wing for Cernicki. Looks like Columbus has switched. No, they're still in that 2-3. Again, a lot of times they'll switch to a man-to-man -man in the second half, but against this size, they're sticking in that 2-3. Up top here is Carter Apenna. Here's a corner three. Nails it. Ben Cernicki from downtown. He's got five, and this is the largest lead of the night for the Royal Panthers. Blake Jacoby takes the screen. Skips it out to Kreklow. Mack, left wing. Now into the corner for Cy Becker. Becker attacking, trying to fight his way to the basket, into the corner to Kreklow. And I just have to applaud Royals' defense tonight as Emmett gets to the basket. Tough finish with the left is good. Emmett Konichny, a big shot from Emmett there. If you're Columbus, you don't want to get down by any more. Right now, Royals got the momentum. They've come back. They were down 7 to nothing. They've come back. They've taken the lead. Mid-range jump shot. Wainwright, no good. Columbus the other way. Blake Jacoby. The in and out dribble to the basket. Left hand shot, no good. Blake Jacoby setting to the line for two shots. Foul's going to go against Savon Wainwright. If they do call it on him, that's going to be his third personal. And it does go on him. He's setting, Blake Jacoby setting to your Surf Pro. Jamie Wenzel free throw line call. Jamie Wenzel at Surf Pro for the number one choice in cleanup and restoration. Surf Pro, like it never even happened. Jacoby knocks down the free throw. Stop Construction is a premier builder of municipal and industrial water and wastewater treatment systems in the Midwest. Stop Construction, a 100% employee-owned company, and the Maple Dude Pure Maple Syrup since 1858. Look for the Maple Dude brand where you shop for groceries. Find them at themapledude.com or visit the Maple Dude World Headquarters on Highway 10 Grant. And as the Maple Dude says, keep it real. Blake Jacoby goes one for two from the line there. Again, Columbus shooting uncharacteristically average from the line tonight. In the corner here. End of the game now is Trey Wilds. Now we got a whistle and a foul. Going to go on Columbus here. They're going to get Blake Jacoby with the reach in, his first personal. Royal basketball. First personal team first here in the second half as well for Columbus. Into the backcourt, Carter Apinna will go get it. Again, this is playoff basketball here. We knew this sectional, we, we set it to start the postseason. This was a loaded sectional here that, here's a right wing three, bottom. Ben Cernicki, back-to-back -back threes for the Royal Panthers. And it's back to a five-point lead for Royal. These Panthers have got it going from downtown now. Charlie Moore, Emma Kanishny tries to answer in and out. And that one was halfway down from Emmett. Into the corner now, Jacob Sisek. Back out right wing for Epina. Into the post. Tough shot is good. Landon Lipke for two. He's got six. Largest lead of the game for the Panthers. Cybecker to the basket. A whistle. Time.
Timeout Columbus. We'll take a break. Royal with a seven-point lead. Back after this on Zaleski Sports. Witness the difference of a Catholic education at Columbus Catholic Schools. I think everyone should just know uh, what makes this place special. Come and see. That's just what the Lord always said. And put your toe in the water. There are great schools and it's a good fit. I'd always want them to come in and to just to feel the goodness and the family atmosphere. I invite everyone just to come in and see what it's about and to see if it might be right for them and their family. We invite you to schedule a tour today. For over 50 years, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield has served the area with the talent and expertise of big city dentistry with a hometown feel. With our multi-specialty staff and board-certified periodontist, orthodontist, and pediatric dentist, Dental Clinic of Marshfield has solutions for our patients of all ages from 1 to 100. We take pride in being in-network with an array of insurance companies to meet the needs of our community and our patients. No matter what your dental need, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield will be there for you. Art's Body Shop, quality auto body and framework since 1952. If you have an accident, let Mackey's 2024 Small Business of the Year give you a free estimate. Call Art's Body Shop on South Central Avenue in Marshfield. Don's the inbound here. Emmett Kineshny gets it into Blake Jacoby. It feels like Columbus. They desperately need a basket here. Again, Royal is just playing fantastic man-to-man -man defense. That's going to be a foul called on Ben Cernicki. And again, we've talked about it this season with Columbus. When teams have played zone against Columbus, they end the game in about five minutes. When teams play man, if you can play it soundly, that has been when the Dons have had some trouble this season. And Royal is playing fantastic man-to-man -man defense right now. Kreklo up top to side Becker. Back outside, Blake Jacoby. He tries the deep three and he nails it. Blake Jacoby from downtown. It's only his second three-point attempt of the game. He's made both. We'll see if Blake gets a little more aggressive from outside here. Because again, he has been the one that has been hitting from out there. Here's the answer. No good. On that shot from Trey Wilds. Columbus basketball the other way. Blake Jacoby brings it up. Defended by Olsen. Jacoby crosses over. Attacks. Hands off to Kreklo. Back outside Konechny. All starters out there for Columbus. Konechny takes the ball screen from Becker. The spin move. Oh, what a move. Emmett Konechny splits the double team with probably maybe the prettiest move of the night. And just like that, it's back to a two-point ball game. That was really a fantastic move by Emmett Konechny to spin back and split the double. Back the other way comes Royal. Lipke in the paint. Skips it to the corner. Into the post now. Tough shot. Up with it. Count it and one. What a finish. Trey Wilds with the contact, finish, and the foul. Kreklo picks up his second personal. Trey Wilds with just a playoff level finish at the basket. Now subbing in for Royal, Tyrus Wilds. He checks in for Carter Apenna. Trey Wilds converts the in one. And Royal back up by five now. And we'll see if, I'd be curious to see if Columbus, they, you know, they're normally they don't care who, who scores. They, they move the ball. They don't really run a lot of set plays. Blake Jacoby to the basket for two. But right on cue, I was going to say Blake Jacoby, at least from three-point range, he has had it going. No other Don has really gotten into a groove from outside. See if... Columbus runs some set plays for him to get some shots out there. Charlie Moore saves it in a mistake. And maybe it was blocked. Maybe it was blocked. I think Charlie, I think Emma Kineshny said it was blocked. So that was blocked. That why, that's why it was an air ball. 41-38, Royal with the lead. Left wing. Here it's Trey Wilds into the corner now. Savon Wainwright. Another one for Savon Wainwright. Royal is on fire from outside here in this second half. They found their groove from out there. It's 44-38. to 38. The Panthers lead it. Moore up top. 
Larkin. I'm just curious to see if Columbus tries to get Jacoby an open look from three-point range here. Kreklow, top of the key, into the corner. Jacoby could have taken it if he wanted it. Attacks the basket instead. Tough shot, good. Blake Jacoby for two. And Blake Jacoby is taking over these last couple of minutes for Columbus on this side of the floor. Into the short corner here, Ben Cernicki. Now right wing, Carter Olson. Or excuse me, that is Tyrus Wilds. Wainwright into the corner. Another three short from Trey Wilds. Emma Konechny takes the screen from Kreklow. Konechny to the basket. Tough shot, no good. They've gotten a hand on that. And that shot up, no good. Foul on the floor. That's going to go on Lucas Kreklow. Royal the inbound here. They lead it by four. Every possession is massive at this point in the game. Jacob Cisic up top. Swings it over to Savannah Wainwright. Again, a big stat to look at right now. Royal, two total turnovers the entire game. Into the post now. Wilds. Wainwright goes baseline. He's got a lane. Kicks it back out up top here for a pin. A left wing three. Short from Tyrus Wilds. Battle for the board. Royal's got it. I think that was Tyrus Wilds. Timeout Royal. We'll take a break. Be back with the final five minutes and 12 seconds after this on Zaleski Sports. The Sports Den, located on Marshfield's sunny south side since 1975. The Sports Den has the area's best selection of outdoor equipment, fine top brands of snowshoes, cross country and downhill skis, snowboards, swimming equipment, skateboards, and more. The Sports Den has a full service bike repair center along with top bike brands, specialized Trek and others. The Sports Den is Central Wisconsin's fat bike headquarters. Visit the Sports Den in Marshfield Monday through Saturday and thesportsden.net. Ag Country Farm Credit Services is a farmer owned co-op offering a wide array of custom financing and financial services from loans and leases to crop insurance and tax and records they have you covered. Contact Ag Country in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield and Medford. And pick up all your pet's favorites from Fleet Farm. Find everything from food and treats to toys and health products under one roof. From all the brands you trust, dogs or cats, they've got you covered. Shop your pet's everyday essentials at Fleet Farm. Royal basketball. They lead it by four. Into the post here. It's Tucker Wilds outside to Wainwright. He traveled with it. The third turnover of the game for Royal. And again, I just talked about it just two before that. Wainwright wants a foul, but again, they called a travel on Wainwright first. And that was also a good call. Again, I, referees get a lot of flag from fans and even sometimes from broadcasters, but these referees, you got to give them props when they're doing a good job, and they really have done a fantastic job here tonight, this refereeing crew. And the connection to the basket kicks out to Charlie Moore. Into the corner, Blake Jacoby. That's a tough shot. Off back iron, no good. It's Jacoby's first miss three of the game. Again, I think a shot, if you're Columbus, you like with Blake Jacoby. He's, he's had it going. Let him try to get another one. Rainwright, another tough floater. No good. Gets his own offensive rebound. Royal has dominated the offensive glass tonight. Wainwright, he tries a three. No good. Sybecker the rebound. Still a four-point game. If you're Columbus, you just feel like you want to get to one possession. Blake Jacoby, Charlie Moore for his first points. No good. Out of bounds. Stays with Columbus. And Charlie Moore, 0 for 6 from the field tonight, 0 for 2 from the free throw line, 0 for 3 from the three-point line. Again, you just feel like if he gets, if he continues to get open looks, he's going to hit, he's going to hit one. He's going to start hitting them at some point. We just haven't seen Charlie miss many of those this year. Blake Jacoby in the corner. Now right wing to Moore. Attacking the basket. Gets it to the short corner for Kreklow. Cy Becker tries the three, and he bottoms it. Cy Becker rattles it home for the Dons. A huge shot. He's got six points. He's two for three from the field. A one-point basketball game. Tyrus Wilds. This is shaping up to be a fabulous finish here tonight. Right wing, Ben Zernicki. 
into the post now. Wilds has it poked away. Gets it away in time to Cisic. Back into Wilds. Backs in. Tough shot. No good, but a foul. Kreklo doesn't like the call, but it will be a foul called on Lucas Kreklo heading to the line. Is Tucker Wilds. Or no, Blake Jacoby, excuse me. So Kreklo is complaining, but it wasn't called on him. It was called on Blake Jacoby. Sound like number 13. Two free throws for Tucker Wilds. No good. That has been a bugaboo for both teams tonight. Is free throw shooting. The second throw. No good again. The Dons have a chance to take the lead on the other end. 44-43 Royal. Blake Jacoby steps back. Goes back to the basket. Up top, Kreklo, he wants the top of the key three. And Lucas Kreklo nails it. Kreklo has been huge tonight for the Dons on offense. Emmett Konechny slaps the floor and says, let's go. 46-44 Columbus. Apina into the corner for the Royal lead. It's good. Back and forth we go. Ben Cernicki is feeling it in the second half. He's got nine points here in the second half alone. Blake Jacoby up top. Hands off to Cy Becker. The spin move. The up and under. Back outside. Stolen away. In transition. Poked away. A foul. As Tyrus Wilds comes up with a steal. Emmett Konechny called for the reach in. And these fans, both sides, are, let's just say they're into this game. Tyrus Wilds to inbound. Gets it in. Jacob Cisic. Now up top for Carter Apina. Royal looking to extend their lead. Apina, tough finish, no good. Sidebacker, the one handed board. Emmett Konechny the other way. Two and a half minutes left to play. Jacoby. Refuses the screen. The spin move. Backdoor pass. Kreklo, the tough finish. Count it and one for Lucas Kreklo. Lucas Kreklo has been unbelievable on the offensive end of the floor for the Dons tonight. Tucker Wilds called for his second personal. Kreklo, who's the fifth leading scorer on this team. When you think of scoring for the Dons, you think of Charlie Moore, Blake Jacoby, Emma Konechny first. Then you think of Cy Becker. The guy that you sometimes forget about on the offensive side is Lucas Kreckle. And man, has he been huge tonight. 14 points. He's only missed three shots from the field. Kreckle converts the end one. It's a two-point Columbus lead. A nail-biter to say the least. Two and a half minutes remaining. 49-47. Jacoby comes up with a steal. Fourth turnover of the game for Royal. Blake Jacoby with a huge steal there. Blake Jacoby up top. The Dons. I don't think they're going to be able to look to rush any shot up here. Screen from Kreklo. Charlie Moore back up to Kreklo. Back to Jacoby. He takes the ball screen. May have had Kreklo on the curl. Jacoby to the basket. He's fouled. Two free throws coming up for Blake Jacoby. Carter Apina called for his third personal. Blake Jacoby to your serve pro Jamie Wenzel free throw line. Call Jamie Wenzel at serve pro for the number one choice in cleanup and restoration serve pro like it never even happened. Blues Air Studio. Spring has sprung at Blues Air Studio on North Central Avenue in Marshfield. The stylists at Blues Air Studio are ready to help you get the best look for spring. Book your appointment with Blues Air Studio in Marshfield. Blake Jacoby nails the first free throw. A three-point lead for Columbus. Everyone in the building is on the edge of their seats as Blake Jacoby goes two for two. It's a four-point Columbus lead. Carter Rapina hands off to Tyrus Wilds. The skip pass over here. Savon Wainwright, the pass high. I'm losing my voice. Wainwright just out of his reach. Turnover Royal. And it's Columbus ball up by four with a minute 43 to play. And this game is still far from over. But regardless of the result, Emmett Konechny gets it in. You got to give props to Lucas Kreklo at the end of this game. 
I mean, all these Dons, but Andy, I mean, we, we got a long way to go yet. Cybecker up top to Kreklo. These Royal Panthers have played fantastic defense all game, and they're going to have to try to force a turnover here. Blake Jacoby outside to Kreklo. Now up top, Emmett Konechny. Takes the ball screen from Kreklo. The pass off the mark. I think Kreklo is going to get called for the foul. I think he will. Konechny just missed on the pass. That's going to be a Columbus turnover as it's an offensive foul on Lucas Kreklo. That is his fourth. Blake Jacoby comes in and says, guys, let's relax. I think Matt Konechny is going to check in for Lucas. Or, excuse me, he's going to check in for Charlie Moore. Coach Konechny with his defensive lineup out there. Mack, Blake Jacoby, and Konechny. Timeout Royal will take a break. Back with a thriller from Adam's Friendship after this on Zaleski Sports. Hello, I'm Jenny Shaner, Realtor, Next Home Hub City. If you're a first time home buyer or seller, or you've been around the block, because of my experience, I'm able to help you in the most efficient way. I'm a full-time, full-service realtor. I focus on my clients 100%. Let's work together as a team for a win in your next real estate transaction. should be at Partners Bank. Banking should be easier, treating our customers as valued and important. Services should be better with online and mobile banking and locations close to where you live and work. Loans should be quicker and we make all decisions locally with years of experience helping people with their financing needs. Partners Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Mutual of Wausau Insurance, protecting homes, farms, and businesses since 1875. Visit mutualofwausau.com to find an agent near you. The student section's trolling each other here tonight. One chant is, I, we can't hear you. I can't hear anything. Here in this one, a sidebacker comes up with a steal and then stolen away by Royal and a foul. And who's the foul on? Sidebacker came up with a steal and then turned it over again. And now Cybecker called for the foul. Two free throws coming up for Carter Apinna. Charlie Moore back in. Again, Cybecker just, I think maybe got a little too antsy when he came up with that steal. He probably should have just held that ball. Carter Apinna to the line for one and one. Knocks it down. Big shot. Big shot from Carter Apinna, the leading scorer for these Royal Panthers at 16 a game. He's got five tonight. It has been a low scoring battle. Here tonight, a pinna for free throw number two to make it a two-point game. It's good. Carter Apinna, we've got substitution. And the three-point marksman here in this second half, Ben Cernicki, checks back in. Columbus is going to have to keep an eye on Cernicki. As I said Lucas Kreklo with a huge impact in the second half for Columbus as that goes out of bounds, deflected off Royal. Cernicki with as big, if not more so, of an offensive impact for these Royal Panthers in the second half. He's got nine in the second half. Perfect from the field, three for three from outside. Charlie Moore to inbound. Emmett Konechny takes the fall. They get it into Jacoby. Jacoby across half court. He's going to go all the way to the basket. No, takes it out. Under a minute to play. Blake Jacoby. Again, if you're the Dons, your game plan is take care of the ball, move it, and make them foul you. And if you're Royal, you're trying to poke that ball loose. Jacoby hands off to Konechny. Again, late in these games, there's going to be a lot of contact. Not always going to be called. It's postseason basketball. Blake Jacoby, defended by Cernicki. He has it poked away, but Charlie Moore, luckily for the Dons, is there to scoop it up. That was not a pass, folks. That was poked away. Charlie Moore was there. Royal going to have to think about fouling, and they will. Cernicki follows Blake Jacoby. Head of the line for one and one. Stern, Weiss, and Sons. Sternweiss and Sons, ready mix and block plan of Marshfield, now hiring boom truck and concrete truck drivers. Be home every night and work for the hometown team at Sternweiss and Sons. If it's time for you to make a change, apply today at the Ren Road Ready Mix location, Sternweiss and Sons of Marshfield. Blake Jacoby for the first free throw is good. The Grey Dog Axe throwing, the Grey Dog Axe throwing is now open in Marshfield. It's fun for all ages, eight and older, so bring the whole family. Join a league or plan a party. Book your awesome experience today. Visit thegreydogaxe.com or find them on Facebook for more information. 
Blake Jacoby with another chance to get the Dons up by four. And he does. Huge free throw shooting from Blake Jacoby at the end of this game. Royal has got 20 seconds on the clock. A pinna. Wainwright, the three. It's good. What a shot. Savan Wainwright with ice in his veins. One point game. Timeout on the floor. We'll take a break. Back after this on Zaleski Sports. After a couple years of a job that doesn't fit, it's time for more money, more opportunity. That is where Mid-State Technical College comes in. Would cooking be a good fit? Try on a career in welding. Perhaps the outdoors suits you better. Or maybe helping people is a better fit. No matter your path, we've got cutting edge classes with field trained professionals and better tuition options, making Mid-State the perfect fit. Scotty's Pizza and Chicken, how can I help you? Scotty's Pizza and Chicken has been voted best pizza in Marshfield 15 years in a row. Scotty's Pizza and Chicken is ready for your call now at 715-384-8118. Choose Drunken Chicken, BLT, Western, Mac and Cheese, Sweet Chili Chicken, and more. Plus, Scotty's has roasted chicken, fish, sandwiches, salads, and desserts. Scotty's Pizza and Chicken, 715-384-8118 and scottyspizza.com. Scotty's Pizza and Chicken, how can I help you? Express Employment, find your next career path with just a phone call to Express Employment Professionals with locations in Wausau, Stevens Point, Marshfield, no matter where you are in central Wisconsin. Save yourself some time and find your next employer at ExpressPros.com. This is a playoff game tonight. We've got both, both fan sections cheering at each other, seeing who can be louder. Columbus ball, Royal trying to force a turnover. Moore gets it into Jacoby, and they follow Jacoby. Jacoby's just got to go to the line and do what he's done his last two trips. Going perfect his last two trips. Get Culligan Water for only $9.95 a month for the first three months. Visit Sterling Culligan Water at CulliganH2O.com. And thanks to our game day sponsors, Hawkins Ash, Draxler Transport, Woodfield Inn and Suites, and Rams Funeral Home. Blake Jacoby to the line. One and one, it's good. Blake Jacoby trying to ice this. Now again, if he makes both, it's just a three-point game. That gives Royal 14 seconds. They could still go for a two or go for the three to tie it. But Blake's got to hit this free throw. And he does. Blake Jacoby, huge free throws. 13.7 on the clock. A three-point ball game. Carter Apinna brings it up. Connection defending. Apinna, the step back. His foot was on the line. Deep two is good. Off glass. Two-point shot good. And we got a timeout, Royal. We're going to take another quick break. Back with the final 3.6 seconds after this on Zaleski Sports. I had an employee at once ask me to prioritize family, faith, and business. And I put him in that order in particular. For each one of our employees, it's family first. You do what is best for you and your family. Then the rest of it will take care of itself. It's about making sure you make the best decisions for you and your family. Hi, I'm Big Clarence, and I'm so terrific that Mall Furniture decided to name their latest and greatest sale after me, Big Clarence. Sorry, Clarence, apparently you misunderstood. It's Mall Furniture's clearance sale. And right now the savings are phenomenal on all the top quality furniture at Mall, Mall Furniture's, Furniture's clearance sale. sale. That's Mall Furniture's clearance sale. Clarence! That's clearance, Clarence. Welcome back, everybody. 55-54. The Columbus Dons lead the Royal Panthers by one point. There is 6.2 seconds on the clock now. Blake Jacoby instantly fouled as he falls out of bounds. The Dons doing an excellent job of making sure to get Jacoby the ball and force Royal to foul him. The last guy they probably want to right now. Foul goes on Ben Cernicki. Blake Jacoby to the line. Team ninth, so still not in the double bonus. Single bonus, Blake Jacoby. There are 5.4 seconds on the clock. Jacoby nails it. He has just been... Perfect to end this game. His last seven. 
One more to make it a three-point game. He nails it. Back to a three-point game. Timeout Columbus. We're going to take another quick break. Back with the final 5.4 after this on Zaleski Sports. Good day. My name is Ken Hyman, and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin, as a matter of fact. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Fedecaseri, Cafletiri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edom, Gouda, and Munster. And the cheese be with you. Welcome back, everybody. It's 57-44, this place. Everybody is on their feet, essentially, here in this Adams Friendship Gymnasium. 5.4 seconds. Columbus up 57-54. We're going to be in for potential buzzer beater opportunity. Apenna gets it. Coming up the floor. Splits the defense. Poked away. Battle for the ball. And that is going to do it. That is going to do it. The Columbus Dons. The team storms the floor. The Columbus Catholic Dons are moving on. They are moving on to a sectional final matchup with either Potosi or Cashton on Saturday. The Dons miraculous season stays alive. Columbus, what a finish. Blake Jacoby and Lucas Kreklow at the end of this game were just superb for these Dons. 57-54 Columbus. The Don season stays alive. 57-54 your final. Congratulations to the Royal Panthers on a great season. We say this every game we do here in the postseason. Getting to the sectionals is so difficult. And now that team made it to state last year, but it is so tough to even get to sectionals. This Royal team, an excellent basketball team. Congratulations to them on a regional championship and a great year. But the Columbus Dons are moving on. Coming up next is your Nasonville Dairy postgame show. Nasonville Dairy, fresh cheese curds made daily. Go to nasonvilledairy.com. We'll take a break. Back, I'll be down on the floor with Coach Konichny and Lucas Kreklaw and Blake Jacoby after this on Zaleski Sports. Good day. My name is Ken Hyman, and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin, as a matter of fact. Nasonville Dairy actually goes back to 1885. We are the oldest plant in Wood County. When our father brought us here in the early 1960s, we ran 7,500 pounds of milk a day. We now run 1.8 million pounds of milk a day. We buy dairy milk from 200 dairy farmers here in central Wisconsin, produce it, and ship it all over the world. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Fedecaseri, Cafletiri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edom, Gouda, and Munster. This has allowed us to go to a lot of different countries. Our furthest accounts are now in China, Japan, Canada, Saudi Arabia. We do ship to Mexico, as well as a number of other places throughout the world. This is what we call Cheese Making 101. We tried to walk you through the cheese plant today and we're in hopes that you see our people, what they're doing, and the amount of work that goes into producing the products that we hope you enjoy.
We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta Caceri, Cafeteria, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edam, Gouda, and Munster. And the cheese be with you. Hiller's True Value in Marshfield, Central Wisconsin's Milwaukee Tool Destination Center. The tools you trust from the people you can depend on. Shop the store within a store and find what you're looking for. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Now that's what I was looking for. Looks like you found what you're looking for. We redesigned our store to offer the biggest selection of Milwaukee tools. A selection so big you'll need a map to find your way out. Hiller's True Value in Marshfield, Central Wisconsin's Milwaukee Tool Destination Center. Hi, I'm Shai from Next Step Prosthetics. Five years ago, we opened our practice to provide life-changing prosthetics that are both comfortable and functional. I would definitely recommend Shai. Shai is very compassionate, caring. We've grown to serve patients throughout Wisconsin. We want to thank them, their families, and providers who have trusted us on the journey. Go to Next Step, because it's gonna change your life. Why wait another day? Call to set up a free, no obligation evaluation. Let us take the next step together towards a better life. The Kubota RTV X1100 versatile utility vehicle comes with factory installed features, cab, heat and air, power steering and heavy duty hydrostatic transmission. Get the RTV X1100 for $0 down and 0% APR for 36 months. Now through March 31st, 2024, go to Kubota USA for a complete disclaimer. Test drive the Kubota RTV X1100 at Chile Implement in Chile, 10 miles west of Marshfield and south on Y. Hey everybody, Nat over at Wheeler Chevrolet GMC, and I am standing in our all new express lane. Open now, no appointment necessary. Stop on in and get things like oil changes, filters, quick lubes, no appointment necessary. See you soon. this one into words how'd you guys pull this thing out uh, we were fortunate you know uh, I thought Royal uh, did a really good job of getting out on shooters and playing really physical you know they're big um, they're well coached I mean they were at the state tournament last year for a reason so uh, you know, I told our boys I said you just got a, a really hard fought win against a class act of a program uh, and a really great coach and I meant every word of it I, I thought uh, we did just enough but then they you know we, we get a four-point lead to hit a three uh, Blake comes down and hits two big free throws um, and, and up and on knocks in a three off the glass, you know, and then, and then we come down and score and um, just so proud of our boys. We go down 38-31 second half, uh, continue to battle and, and just do whatever it takes to, to have practice tomorrow. Um, but again, just so much credit to Royal uh, for the way they played tonight um, and, and just, just such a class program. Yeah, and then talk about what this team showed when they were down seven, because you're right, it, it looked like you guys were down seven, it didn't look good at that point, but then, I mean, Lucas really stood out to me with some of the big, the big shots he hit, then obviously Blake finished up for you guys at the free throw line. What was it, or what is the show about this team that, you know, I mean, you guys can be against as great of a team as it is you talked about, that went to the state tournament last year, down by seven with just a few minutes to go to come back and still win this game? It just says that we have composure. You know, I mean, it, it's this environment where there's not an empty seat and you get down by seven in the second half um, and get some stops and hit some shots. Um, just very, very proud of the way they stayed composed. You know, just play. Um, you know, November 30th, we're hoping Emmett comes out of surgery alive. So, like, set down seven, second half, not a big deal. Mm -hmm. And then in that in that second or talk, talk about lucas's performance tonight because he really stood out to me in a game where you guys don't have the size advantage you know you, you, you got a six seven guy six five guy on the other side he's guarding the biggest guy most times he's playing against him he was able to get a couple of tough fi tough finishes out there talk about lucas's performance tonight it's some big shots and, and like you said those bigs are good you know 25 and 43 and they hit tough shots you know the the ones that 43 made he's 12 feet fading away he's six foot seven you got a hand in his face not not much you can do he's just good 
Um, so sometimes you got to tip your hat and play on, and I thought Lucas did a really good job of staying composed tonight as well. And then I did hear from a, a source that it sounds like Cashin is who you're going to play. Hey, any, I know that this, we're still trying to, the emotions of this game, I'm sure, are still right on all of our minds, but if, any thoughts on that matchup? Do you know anything about Cashin or, or, the, or thoughts on that matchup you're going to be playing for a chance to go to state? I think I know what this team has been wanting to do all year. I think we're very similar. You know, they have some outstanding guards, you know, 20 to 23 points a game, uh, push the tempo, um, and they got seven or eight kids that can flat out play. So, you know, Coach Up and I are talking before the game. I think our section had like seven of the top 10 teams in it, yep. you know, four of the top six, and they were all playing tonight. So uh, it just doesn't get any easier. Um, we're going to be grateful for the opportunity and, and, and try to play, play as well as we can and see what happens. All right, thanks, Coach. That was a great game. We'll Thank see you. you Saturday. Thank you for yep. your coverage. Absolutely. Now let's get uh, Blake. Blake and Lucas. Lucas has already Lucas, you already changed out of your gear on me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Lucas, I want to start with you. How does it feel to be going to play in a game where you guys are going to have a chance to go to the state tournament? I mean, it's something you always dream of as a kid. You, you look up to these guys and, and, and you just you, you imagine yourself there and now I, I can stop imagining because I am there. And it's a great feeling. It's a really, really great feeling. And Blake, uh, you know, I don't, this is a game that's tough to find words to describe, a game like this. You guys were down by seven with just a few minutes to go. Try to put into words the end of that game, how you guys were able to come back from down seven there. Yeah, we knew, us nine seniors, we knew we can't just let it be our last game like that. We had to come out, give it all, give it our all and let the end result be the end result. Talk about this guy to your left, because when you guys were down by seven, he's going up against the 6'7 guys, the 6'5 guys, and he had a couple of massive baskets down at the end of that game. Talk about what this guy did at the end of that game. Yeah, he's, he's been great all season. He's been backing down people taller than him. He's our, tall, he's our tallest guy. He's been doing, uh, he's been doing everything. It's, words can't say how much I appreciate how much he does down there. And, yeah, we're just going to keep it going. And then Lucas, the guy to your right, Happened to hit the eight final free throws to seal this game for you. Talk about what he showed at that free throw line. He had 23 points, 38 combined for you two tonight. Well, we always expect the worst, so you always expect to miss on a free throw. <laughs> so you go as hard as you can, but I've never seen any piece of clutch shooting like that all my years of playing. It's the best thing I've ever seen, and I'm so proud of him. And what was that like? I want to ask you to finish this out. Playing against some of those bigs tonight, because Royals got bigs, and they got bigs that can play. And... Um, they didn't score a ton of points tonight. I mean, you, you held them, and you and Cy, I think, were both on the couple of big guys in there di at different times. What were you seeing? What were you doing? You guys doing in there? I know you were in that 2-3, but how did you, you guys defend them in this relatively low-scoring game tonight? Well, we, we just really we didn't want to front them because then they are going to throw them at the top. So we stayed behind them and hoped someone dig, and then I just did my best to play defense on them. And, and obviously it worked out pretty well because, you know, but... You just do your best, stay behind them, and play good defense. That's all I can say about that. All right, it sounds like you guys are going to be playing Cashton on Saturday. It sounds like they beat Potosi. Uh, Blake, I'll ask you to finish out the interview. State tournament in Madison on Saturday. Yeah, like Lucas said, it's always been a dream to have a chance to go to play there. But Cashton's a good, really good team. We like to think that they're, li they're like us a little bit. They're really fast getting the ball up the floor, so we've got to prepare for that. Yeah, we're just going to prepare tomorrow and see what happens Saturday. All right, you guys know what to do now. I'll give you guys the mic. You've seen it done with you've got done with two people. Right? Count you down three, two, one. Three, two, one. I'm Lucas Kreklo. And I'm Blake Jacoby. And, and we're, we're in the house. house. Great job, guys. Congrats Thank on the win. You. Congratulations, guys. Yep. All right, so that was Blake Jacoby and Lucas Kreklo, our two highlight house players of the game. These, these Columbus fans are still on the floor here. Everybody's uh, in awe of what we saw here tonight. They, we had great games across the Zaleski Sports Broadcast Network here tonight. This one, as good as any of them. I mean, again, the, that, the, the key, the, why, what I think back to and why I asked Blake about it in that interview was that the 38-31 deficit this team faced very late in that ball game, and the, the score got run up with free throws a little bit. It was probably lower, lower scoring, more defensive than the final score says, but again, that seven-point deficit Columbus faced, it was a couple of huge shots from Lucas Kreklo and and one, excuse me, and and one. A couple of jump shots they left him open on. And he had a couple of and ones against bigger guys. And Kreklo showed a lot of a grit on the inside, as we've seen from him this year. But then it was Blake Jacoby stealing it with all the free throws um, here tonight. What a game here tonight. Uh, these are two of the best teams in the state for Division Five. You could argue. I mean, we'll see what the, what the future holds. But these are, you won't find a better matchup than what we saw here tonight. And 57-54 uh, is your final score. Columbus Catholic 
takes down Royal here tonight. Columbus will play Cashton in a sectional final on Saturday. Right now, that game's scheduled for Lacrosse Logan. That game could get switched. The locations could get switched. Again, this game was originally scheduled for Arcadia. Got moved to Adam French Adam's Friendship. So that could get switched. Um, stay updated on the WIAA website for that. But either way, uh, here at Zaleski Sports, we will be there. We'll be with the Dons, following the Dons, and Cashton matchup on Saturday. Sectional final. It'll be on Zaleski Sports. A couple other score updates for you from the last that I heard. Uh, let me double check if I can get you any recent up information. You up there, you got your phones uh, out there. You probably know more than me, but um, it did look like Nina was going to beat Spash. Nina has a chance to go to state for the third straight year and for the second straight is the sixth seed. That's a fantastic program over there, Nina. They look like Kakana had a late lead on Marshfield. Marathon beat Auburndale, looked like by three points um, over there in Merrill. And those are the updates that I saw from around the area here tonight. But that's going to bring us to the end of our Nasonville Dairy post game show. Nasonville Dairy with fresh cheese curds made daily. Get your cheese curds at Nasonville Dairy, Marshfield Curtis, or NasonvilleDairy.com. That's going to bring us to the end of our broadcast here tonight for live from Adam's Friendship. Thanks to Adam's Friendship, uh, Mr. Groshek, the athletic director, for hosting us here for the sectional semifinal. Great place to host the game. A lot of fans turned out. Great environment. Columbus is moving on to the sectional final. That's going to bring us to the end of our broadcast from myself, Kale Jacoby, alongside Isaac Eagle, live from Adam's Friendship High School. We'll see you next time on Zaleski Sports.